Hello, welcome to Linda Legs Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today, <laughs> the smoke got me. Today, this reading is going to be a collective reading. It's going to be for whoever is meant to be for. Please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you, and that is okay. Pick up what does resonate with you and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate. All right? All right. I hope you guys are doing okay on this lovely Sunday. Ooh. okay don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button it is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel all right guys listen so i'm picking up on a couple things there's somebody here who is definitely uh wanting the smoke with you or wanting to be at war with you at one point this person now feels burdened okay we got this baba yaga card here all right this person wanted to send some sort of monsters towards you okay in in order for you to feel bogged down and burdened and now this person is feeling these this type of energy all right there's somebody here who's really sad because something here did not work out the way they wanted it to for you or something didn't work out for how they wanted it to be for themselves all right the names that i picked up were emily tiffany jake Stephen, okay or esteban all right julian or julia all right and rob or robert all right you guys could be seeing the angel number 1212 a lot this was on my floor earlier okay underneath my desk it says persistence so whoever i'm speaking to your persistence is going to pay off this this could be persistence persistence anywhere or any area in your life that you're being persistent in so when this has to do with like career um your own self-healing journey um your art your craft whatever you're doing you're gonna get you're going to see the fruits of your labor okay there's definitely a shift that's coming in all right there's gonna be new experiences that are gonna be um entering your world it says, this card says, Oh, happy day. An ample opportunity related to your life's purpose is just around the corner. Take immediate action once it pops up. Of course, a lovely partnership or an epic romance is also in the cards. That's what's going on for some of y'all, okay? And then I got this card right here that says, Pop the question. So I don't know uh, who this reading is for. But there's someone here that's not happy with this situation. Someone's not happy about someone coming in with this type of energy towards you, okay? That's what it looked like, or vice versa, all right? I also was picking up something about a gag order, okay? So um, this could be something regarding, like, some sort of legal situation that you could be dealing with or that someone else that you know is dealing with, right? Or this could be pertaining to, like someone here just wanting someone to be quiet about something or someone wanting another individual to not say or communicate something to another individual all right somebody here wants to keep something secret someone here wants to keep something silent but i don't think that's what's going to be happening okay i also was picking up uh something here about someone's tires on their vehicle you might need to check your tires okay i don't know if this means like check your tire pre pressure or um, check to see if like you need to replace your tire or something like that something about someone's tires could be significant all right i also feel like this could be someone who like symbolically was trying to um oh or spiritually whatever was trying to slow down your forward movement but that's not gonna happen okay like i feel like whoever i'm speaking to like the divine your spirit team um your your ancestors your angels they're going to warn you and protect you okay of anything that could be trying to um stop you from being in your life purpose okay i also was picking up something about high heels all right you could wear high heels a lot or this the person that wanted to stop you could okay the person that wanted to stop you could wear high heels or i don't know maybe this person is maybe someone's gonna gift you a pair of high heels child i don't know or someone here is definitely gonna see something from a higher perspective okay <laughs> all right i'm also getting like 
you're about to step into new a new pair of shoes or a i don't fucking know i don't know what this is i also was picking up something about a job search so if you guys were um looking for a job okay or just like a new opportunity you're gonna find it you're gonna get it something's gonna happen in the month of february for you okay yeah, because there's a cycle here that's definitely closing. I feel like someone here is very... Look, at the bottom of the deck, it says smoke. Somebody didn't want the smoke, but they got the smoke. It says bad blood. It says fear about goals, um, dreams, anxiety, feeling threatened. It says shadiness, living outside of their means, unfocused. So there's someone here that... um, They're feeling like this. Let me see. Someone feel like they, they got a bone to pick with you or something. All right job search i'm also getting like somebody wanted you to lose your job so you could be out here looking for one i don't know that's another thing that i'm getting okay um i'm also picking up something about the sun okay maybe some of you need to spend more time outside in the sun or some of you need to take more vitamin d okay um the sun is healing Something about Horus. Horus like Taurus. <laughs> Someone here could be a Taurus. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Tiger. So someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a tiger. This could be you or the person here that has bad blood with you. Who's this person who's got the bad blood? Who's got the bad blood? Bad blood. I'm also getting like, there could be something wrong with someone's blood work, okay? Or, um lab results or someone here has a, a blood infection or a some going on with their blood sorry tell me more <laughs> what's going on with the blood spirit we got aries okay there could be an aries out here that and wants some sort of confrontation with you they could be feeling anxious at this time or feeling threatened by you okay or Aries, you got someone out here that's shady, being shady with you, all right? Or there's an Aries out here that's living outside of their means, all right? We got Scorpio. Somebody here could be a Scorpio that uh, could be wanting some sort of beef with you. Or someone here who has the Chinese zodiac sign of a rooster. Note the date. This could be you or this person, okay? Tell me more. Or this could just be, y'all, if these are your signs, y'all could be scared about not being able to achieve some sort of goals or dreams for yourself, okay? Um, this could be an energy that's being sent to you in order to prevent you from moving forward or taking a leap of faith when it comes to something regarding your life purpose, all right? There's something here about focusing on gratitude or, or staying optimistic about, like, your future, all right we have masculine energy i could be speaking to a masculine energy that's in this anxiety energy okay or this was a masculine energy that had some sort of beef with you okay someone here could have the chinese zodiac sign of a dog note the date okay or this could be you this could have been a masculine energy that was doing something for attention or doing something for clout or doing something in order to get your attention someone here is overwhelmed with emotions is what i feel like is going on Someone's name could be Cindy. I'm not seeing what the heck this is. There's something here about being mindful of not putting too much um not putting too much work on yourself or what's it called don't be mindful of how uh how much you put on your plate all right there's something here about like don't don't overdo it all right cuz it could lead to you experiencing some sort of overwhelming feeling of sadness or like um just feeling overwhelmed in general okay yeah 
Okay. There's someone here that wants to reach out to you as well. This could be this person who's in this sad energy. Maybe they feel regretful. Maybe they want forgiveness for um, trying to be a burden or a monster or trying to have you have burdens. All right. We have forgive me when it comes to this deck as well. Now that we have this. No, let me keep going. Tell me more. What else? Someone here wanted you to feel like an outcast. We got Medusa here. Ciao. Listen, somebody here could have... Listen. Somebody here thought that they could mess with you and they realized that they was playing with Medusa. Okay? Somebody didn't realize that you had... You was... You had some sort of strength or some sort of power here. Somebody awoken the beast within. I don't know what this is, okay? Or they could have awoken something here that protects you, all right? The Punisher. Somebody here thought they could punish you or wanted to punish you. Maybe they felt like you were the reason for their sadness or the reason for their burden, but... You for whoever I'm speaking to, this person's realizing that you don't, ha you didn't have anything to do with something here that's happening in their life, okay? This could just be karma that someone's ex like that's experiencing. Someone's experiencing some sort of karma, and they want to blame you. That's what I feel like it's going on. All right, someone wanted to punish you for being independent, for defending yourself. Someone here wants to go around and say that you're um, acting like a rebel or, or try to make you look like you were doing something wrong because you were, that you walked away or decided to love yourself. I don't know. Something like that is going on. Yeah, because you decided to take the choice to transform yourself and heal or to do what was best for you, okay? For being obedient to what your intuition was telling you. Okay, ciao. Listen. What am I getting into? What am I getting into today? Tell me more, spirit. What else do they need to hear regarding this situation? What do they need to hear regarding this situation, spirit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone here could be depressed. We have depression here. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so, I don't know. This could have been someone that, like, you no longer communicate with or entertain or something. Someone feels like there's no sunshine with you not around. You could have stopped talking to this person in the year 2020. All right? Or maybe you stopped talking to this person when you were in your 20s. All right. I'm also getting like, yeah, this also talks about forgiveness. Someone here really wants your forgiveness or maybe you, maybe you want someone's forgiveness. I don't know. Flip it where I need to go. Or you might need to forgive someone who may have hurt you, right? Someone's trying to run away from taking accountability, though. That's another thing that I'm getting. Maybe this person now wants to come in and take responsibility for a part that they played when it came to a situation here. Um, I could be speaking to a Pisces. Okay. Or this is a Pisces here that wants your forgiveness or could be feeling depressed. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on here? Yeah, there's some sort of telepathic communication here that you could be having with this person. Yeah, whoever I'm speaking to, you could be a psychic, you could be a natural healer. Okay, you could be someone who's very artistic. You could be very in tune with your emotion, with your emotions and other people's emotions that are around you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else is going on in this situation? Okay. Okay, so we got the second house. Something here about your belief systems are significant here. Like, whatever you believe and whatever whatever you value, it's like freeing you, okay? It's freeing you. 
or you forgiving someone has already freed you from something here. I'm also getting like, if you feel stuck in life, there's somebody here that you may still be not wanting to forgive and that could be blocking your heart chakra, which could be blocking your flow of abundance. Okay, that's for some of you, not all y'all. That could be something that's like holding you back or keeping you chained. Okay, um, I'm also getting like someone wants you to not believe something that um, you know is to be true. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who's, what zodiac signs are involved in this situation? Okay, somebody here could be a Capricorn or they could have Capricorn somewhere in their chart. This could be you or somebody else. All right. You could be very focused at this time to, to obtain or to achieve some sort of goals here. We have Gemini. Someone here could be a Gemini or they could have Gemini somewhere in their chart. Listen, there's somebody here that's really focused on trying to come in and communicate something to you. Like they know they need to communicate something to you. All right. Or they want to explain something to you. We have Virgo. Somebody here could be a Virgo or they could have Virgo somewhere in their chart. All right. We got Scorpio. Somebody here could be a Scorpio or they could have Scorpio somewhere in their, somewhere in their chart. This could be you or somebody else. Yeah, there's some sort of secrets here that, like I was saying before, that someone really wanted to keep, like, hush-hush, but it's coming out. This could be a secret about resources, something that is of value. This could be, like, a property. This could be inherit an inheritance um, that could have been left to you. Um, or spiritual inheritance. Maybe somebody here was persistent on trying to limit you or limit your own self-belief, okay? In yourself. Um, maybe this is someone who was determined on trying to stop you from saving you, right? Stop you from valuing yourself as well. Because you're the key to your own success. We have Libra. Somebody here could be a Libra or they could have Libra somewhere in their chart. Okay, and then we have Aries. Somebody here could be an Aries or they could have Aries somewhere in their chart. There's a Virgo out here that wants to um, come in with some sort of honest communication regarding some sort of resources. Or regarding something that is, that is communication that will bring you or your life value. So that could pertain to a lot of motherfucking things, okay? There's some sort of valuable information that you need to know and it's coming in, okay? I could be talking to a Leo or someone here who has Leo somewhere in their chart, all right? Or you're being viewed as a leader or someone here was trying to stop you from taking um, a leadership position in your own life, okay? Or there was someone here that was trying to stop your ability to be creative or have creativity, or to stop you from doing what you want to do. All right. Something here has to be made fair. All right. There could be a Gemini that's in court or is dealing with legal issues. Or there's a Gemini here that is under judgment. Okay. Um, that's for some of you, not all y'all. Okay. Don't trip. Don't trip, baby. Don't trip on me. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Interesting. Maybe. Okay. Okay another thing too it's like like i was saying before like someone really wanted you to trip and fall somebody wanted you to um, fail at something okay but i feel like that this person could be the one that's failing at something holy spirit holy angel can tell me more what else is going on with this energy okay yeah somebody here really didn't want to see um you succeed someone here really didn't want you to see something clearly or see them clearly all right or see yourself clearly, child. Some confusion is definitely going to be cleared up for you. And it's going to be cleared up through word of mouth. Someone here is going to come in and communicate some sort of valuable information to you. You need to hear this. I don't know if this is coming from another human being or coming from one of your, um, your spiritual team. Okay? So your guides. Pay attention, please. Yeah, whatever this communication is, it's going to lead to some sort of Jupiter energy. Right? okay it's gonna lead to a blessing someone's been hiding a blessing okay or hiding your fortune child <laughs> tell me more spirit what the hell going on here now i'm hearing oh happy day <laughs> let me stop holy spirit holy angels what's going on okay yeah someone here wants to clear up a boo-boo 
Someone here could have made a boo boo. They want to fix it. <laughs> the fuck is this? All right. Whatever this information that's coming in, right? It's going to help you be able to enjoy your life. It's going to help you be able to relax more in your life. It's going to ease your mind. There's someone here that wants to work together with you. They want to, I don't know, do what you want with this information. We got Capricorn. Somebody here could be a Capricorn or they could have Capricorn somewhere in their chart. Okay, I could be speaking to one or this is a Capricorn that wants to work together with you or wants to repair some sort of relationship here with you. Or this could have been someone here who was overly critical of you in the past um, and they want to they wanna apologize or they want forgiveness for being this way to you. The angel number uh, 44 could be very significant for somebody here. Um, you need to know that you are loved and you are lovable. Something here about the year 2012. Something here could have been held a secret from you or kept a secret from you since the year 2012. Okay. This could be whatever this thing is or whatever this information is or whatever someone was keeping from you, you might deem this something that is unforgivable. That's another thing that I'm getting, okay? Um, or maybe this is what this person is fearing, right? Someone already knows that you're very suspicious of them, right? This could be someone who's very materialistic. They could be very uh, boastful. Or this was someone here who was like very dismissive of... Um, Whatever you had going on in your life, your issues, your problems, um, your your emotions, your... Okay, what's the bottom? Yeah, we got car here. You need to remain focused regardless of what this person comes in and says or does, all right? I'm also getting like the reason why this person wants to come in and clear up some sort of boo-boo with y'all or repair some sort of um, broken relationship between y'all is because this person knows that you're you're someone here who's very focused and determined and you're not someone here who's gonna like give up on yourself easily or give up in, in, in whatever you're focused on easily okay someone knows that you are very much in control of your life okay there's some sort of major decision that's going to be coming your way that you might have to make Okay, it requires you to really apply yourself when it comes to something here. Let me see what the hell is going on. What else is going on, Spirit? Three of Cups in reverse. You're really being asked to stand your ground and not collaborate with someone or something that's for some of you not all y'all or there was someone here that was really overindulging and doing something against you um and you might really need to keep your boundaries up with this person i don't know if this person's coming in trying to be all sneaky or not but i don't like the vibe okay the number i just saw it on the clock it was 2323 23 and it, let's see what the fuck this means I feel like someone feels guilty, but like, I don't feel like it's like, it's like someone here could feel bad or feel guilty or feel like some form of emotion, but I don't feel like it's, it's like, because they love you or that they have, <laughs> or that they like have true, like emotions. I don't know how to explain it. You guys could be dealing with a psychopath or a narcissist or something. Okay, we have angel number 2323 signals a positive career advance advancement or financial windfall. So it says keep up the good work and don't give up. Good news may be on its way. So there's some sort of good news coming through. Someone here also may know this and that's why they want to repair a relationship with you so they can share in whatever this windfall is or whatever this blessing is or whatever this career advancement um, that you're headed towards. Someone wants to join you for the ride. Someone wants to ask if they could, they could be a, a passenger princess or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, right underneath that is the fucking garbage can. Maybe this is someone here that you already threw out in the trash or you need to, y'all. I don't know. 2323 angel number serves as a constant reminder that you possess the power within to create a life filled with purpose, joy, and profound spiritual awakening, okay?
someone wants to blame you or in the past someone here was blaming you or this is somebody here that did not take accountability and now they want and now they want to that's what i feel like is going on it says i accept responsibility for my well-being we have humor here okay you <laughs> it says i choose to focus on the lighter side of life okay somebody here could miss your humor or somebody misses being around you okay maybe you made this person's life light up they're realizing this okay um especially if this was someone here who was a capricorn or something or someone who had had some or someone here who had like um someone here who was kind of like serious maybe you could have like you were the type of energy that could like shake this person out of their like serious like energy i don't know we have material spiritual prosperity you got material and spiritual prosperity coming your way and there's someone here who um wants to join you with that okay this is this is someone here who's envious of you so you got an envious person that wants to come in and work together with you so that that's what it looked like it says i am the same as everybody but with different challenges you could feel that way and maybe this is why you're being warned because you might for you might forgive this person but but and let them back into your life but you have to understand this person is a snake okay you're being warned this person is a snake this person could be their year that they were born could be 1985 Okay, that's for some of you this person could be 44 years old some of y'all they could be born on the 12th of a month or the 20th this could be a cusp or your cusp or these are your ages flip it where it needs to go please i'm not your mama i'm not your daddy holy spirit holy angels who is this envy ass motherfucker <laughs> who this envious ass motherfucker this could be an aries an aries here could be very envious of you or this could be a gemini here who's very envious of you or i'm speaking to an aries or a gemini and you got someone here who's envious of you. You, get, you gotta be aware. This is someone here who admires you, but they are envious of the shit that you have or the shit that you have the potential to gain. Please open your eyes. Get some help. I'm just trying to <laughs> stop. You know what I was thinking in my mind? What's it called? <laughs> that one meme from, uh, what's it called? Where it's like Michael Jordan and he's all like, I cannot let me stop look at your okay someone needs to really pay attention to their third eye here and accept someone for who they are right accept that whatever you're intuitively whatever you're intuitively feeling about this person is correct okay whoever i'm speaking to you've seen this person you've seen this person you heard this person say something to you that was real fucking shady real fucking sus you knew this person was a low-key hater but they smile in your face. You need to accept this person for who they are. Confirmation. You need to accept this person for who they are. Please. Do not be fooled by this motherfucker. Please. We have acceptance. It says, I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. This person, you cannot change the way they feel in their heart towards you. They feel envious. You see it. You know it. Maybe you feel, you know... Maybe you're, you have some sort of emotional attachment to this person. Or maybe, you know, for a little bit, if you walk away from this person or cut them off, you may feel a little, you know, emotionally sad. But the thing is, it, it, whoever you're with or whoever this person is, they're destroying your fucking self-confidence. Or their plan is to destroy or dwindle your, your solar plexus chakra. You need to use your wisdom at this time. See how um, this yellow light is coming from this book? And this is also yellow. Someone wants you to not trust your gut. Somebody doesn't want you to trust what your third eye be saying. Or what you be seeing. Okay? Listen, you've whoever I'm speaking to, you've already seen the light. You've already been enlightened to something here. Now you need to stand your ground on what you've been seeing okay what you've done son i can't even what am i saying <laughs> let me stop holy spirit holy angels what the hell uh who else is out here i'm also picking up something heavy about uh mercury retrograde okay you've seen this person during mercury retrograde or their masks their masks slipped during mercury retrograde okay 
Tell me more, spirit. What the hell going on? Or who else is this? Who else up? Who else is this envious person, spirit? Do we need to know? Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a horse. Note the date. Or you do. That is envious of you. Okay. Or there's someone here that's going to tell you about an envious person and what they were doing to you or what they did. Someone might be ratting someone out. This could be your Chinese zodiac sign or somebody else. Look at that. Hey, look, 2020. Something about 2020. Okay. High heels on my tibbies. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay. Um. I'm also getting like somebody here thought something was really fucking funny. Whoever this person is, this is whoever. Okay, someone thought something was funny when they like accused you or something or allowed other people to think that you were the one who was responsible for something negative happening in their life or negative something negative happening in general so, to you, possibly like someone here was like laughing at your pain, laughing at the fact that they, you know, fooled people into believing something that was a lie. This person now is like. Or they were happy when, like, they knew that they got other people riled up and angry about you or at you. This is someone here who lacks spirituality or or this is someone who was lying about your spirituality or what you believe or something. Okay. You guys can be seeing a lot of zeros. <gasps> Confirmation. Let's look this up. You guys can be seeing a lot of zeros. Or maybe you're about to see a lot of zeros in your bank account, bitch. <laughs> maybe you're going to be just one day you wake up and there's a lot of fucking zeros. There's a big ass deposit. <laughs> for some of you, not all y'all. Don't get your hopes up, okay? Um, We got, let me stop. We got zero, 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 zero. It says a major message for you. The potential for positive change is ripening. Okay, so something here is ripe. says, although potentially a number with con connections to bad luck and difficulty, says 000 can be seen as an opportunity to challenge yourself and change for the better. says, linked to both the end times and the endlessness, you are faced with the binary reality accompanying all choices. As a result, it is essential to determine the nature of your transformation and path going forward by manifesting posit positivity. It is a time to attract and initiate a new future, but make sure it is the future you want. Now is the time for you to redirect your karma by learning from your past, asking for forgiveness, and moving on from toxic habits and relationships. Okay, so it says what your future holds. It says a choice to pursue a new path with new challenges what you can do assess your intentions and determine where you want to invest your energy ask for forgiveness redirect your karma and then it says focus on positivity and change and move on from toxic relationships okay so listen you need to say no to this motherfucker okay because there's somebody coming in this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship this could be any type of relationship a business partnership this could be um a friendship this could be a family member right there's somebody here that you know who is toxic right this person might be coming in and asking for forgiveness because they know they want to change the way they've been living their lives all right or vice versa flip it where it needs to go maybe somebody here knows that their time is up or like maybe this is someone who who is here that's sick or they know like a cycle's ending because we have the word end times all right and they're being faced with the reality like someone here could be having a, rea a reality check like okay i need to do x y and z because whatever i've been doing is not working i don't know maybe i'm getting like something about like if you can't beat them join them i'm annoyed and my nose keeps fucking Let's get out Big Bertha. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what the hell going on? Actually, I haven't used these in a while. Let me get these out. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear? Somebody here wants you to save them from something. 
someone here wants to be saved i don't know or someone's in disbelief that you have been saved i don't know holy spirit holy angels what's going on here jeez louise someone's life is taking a, a nosedive and someone's fucking scared someone's life is they see it digressing they know it's about to take a fall or take a turn for the worse someone's scared about this all right someone here could have been um trying to distract you or distract another person or now somebody is like diverting their attention to something else all right someone here could be deciding to do something that's challenging or something that's hard which could be coming to you and communicating something, okay? Somebody here got caught. There was two people out here doing something here. They could, they could steal something or take something from you. Or someone feels like someone else made them do something. See how this, this rabbit don't look like happy about doing what they're doing? Like someone feels bad for being involved in something that they... Maybe they didn't want to do. I don't know. Yeah, there could be law enforcement up in this bitch talking to someone, being like, okay, where were you on the night of the third? <laughs> I don't know. Something like that. Okay, respect my authority. Some sh something. Okay? Someone here saved someone or is trying to save their own ass. Their ass. <laughs> Someone's trying to save their own ass here. Okay? I'm also getting like someone here could have lied to authorities and said that you were the one who was responsible for something that happened or someone here could have said that you're the person that was involved in taking something or stealing something or doing something illegal but uh this person is being um the truth is being revealed yeah someone here could have uh could have written or written like some sort of false situation here there could have been like a forged signature here or somebody here could have um written down a false police report or given a false witness report i don't know something something wasn't right something was incorrect okay somebody did this because they wanted you to be under their control or there was someone here who convinced another person to give out false information to authorities because they i don't know this is someone here who could be someone's slave or someone who feels codependent to someone or someone who felt blackmailed by an individual i don't know or someone here is realizing that they are being used as a puppet for someone else's um own agenda this person feel bad someone here could be 38 years old oh, more. What the hell going on high heels on my head <laughs> let me stop whoever i'm speaking to someone is realizing that you are an earth angel somebody know they done fucked up chow okay someone knows you're out here helping those in need with no expectation in return and i also feel like whoever i'm speaking to somebody here feels bad because maybe you helped this person at one point with no expectation of getting anything back from this person this person feels bad somebody feel bad this could have been the same person that tried to betray you i don't know someone's seeing you for who you are though for sure okay someone here could wear a lot of pink okay we have child wounded somebody here was trying really hard to stop you from um healing your inner child that's another reason or that's another way how someone was able to um easily control you was through your trigger points or the or the spaces in your heart that hurts okay oh my god the cycle of that is over or is going is or that is it is wrapping up jeez louise okay it says blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds resist moving on through forgiveness so this is listen there's something here about forgiveness child if you haven't forgived given i can't even talk if you haven't forgave someone you need to it will help it will free you it will free you okay there's also somebody else here that 
is aware of their wounding, but they use it as like an excuse for bad behavior, okay? Or to get out of having, or get out of, of taking um, responsibility or account or being accountable for for the shit that they do, okay? Tell me more, spirit. Okay, whoever I'm speaking to, you could be someone who promotes forgiveness or forgiving others. Yeah, we got story. We have storyteller. Someone here could have been saying that you was telling stories. Maybe someone here was saying that you were lying about helping people in need and not expecting anything in return. Maybe somebody here was uh, saying that you could have been someone here who blames all your dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds or some, someone here was trying to make you look like um, you weren't to be trusted. Okay. I'm also getting like there could have been someone out here who was trying to act like they were innocent or angelic in order to mislead others either about you or about a situation. There could have been someone here who was claiming to be in touch with angelic guides and they're not. This could have been someone here who was making up um, information about you in order for others to harm you. Child, what the fuck is going on? This is the same person that wants your forgiveness. Or somebody here who's connected to this type of person. They know the truth of who you are truly at the core of your soul. And they see this other person for who they are someone feels bad they want to come to you and tell you the truth about whoever this envious this envious ass motherfucker is who wants to be you this could be your doppelganger or your copycat okay there's someone here that could be envious of your ability to um i don't know to express yourself or something you got someone around you that needs to be exercised okay i'm also kidding somebody could have been going around saying that you 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 a demon and you got demons inside you and you need to be exercised but i feel like this motherfucker does this is this is weird this is a literal like wolf in sheep's clothing vibe okay that i'm picking up all right you could be someone here who helps free others of destructive impulses or behaviors right or mindsets okay Maybe this is someone that you guys could be dealing with. Whoever this person that's trying to go up against you, this could be someone who's in fear of facing their own demons, okay? So they projected their own demons onto you. Like, oh, like whatever demons they got or negative spiritual attachments they have, they're trying to place it onto you, okay? Ay, Dios mío, Dios mío. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who the fuck is this person that's doing this? This could have been an Aquarius that was doing this or someone here who has Aquarius somewhere in their chart um, or someone here who's in the public eye was doing this or vice versa. Flip it where it needs to go. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. Who is this person that was doing this? Okay. We have dragon. Somebody here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a dragon or you do. Flip it where it needs to go. But there's something significant about this year. Someone here didn't want you to shine bright this year or something like that or someone you're or someone knows that you're about to go through some sort of major transformation of healing this year of the year of the year of the dragon all right someone here wants to come in and offer you some sort of opportunity or resources but i i feel like this is not i don't know or someone here was trying to block this opportunity okay maybe someone was trying to take it from you by mirroring your energy all right, this person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rooster. Note the date or you do that was doing this or vice versa. Please, flip it where it needs to go. Okay, this could have been somebody that you've known for a long time. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a snake. Note the date. This could be your date or, or your Chinese zodiac sign or someone else, okay? Date. Something about a certain date. Oh my God. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what the heck is going on? What do they need to hear at this time? What do they need to hear at this time? Okay, we have refusing to see the positives in one's own life. So someone here loves to play the fucking victim here. All right. We got Samson. Someone's name could be Sam. 
Okay, we got, this song is by Regina Spector, okay? The song is about someone uh, dying of cancer. Someone here could be a cancer or have cancer somewhere on their chart that's always playing the fucking victim or vice versa. Flip it where it needs to go. Um, or you could have cancer somewhere in your chart. Or someone here knows that they're, they're coming to an end of their life, okay? Someone knows that they're sick. That's why they want to come in and clear up some sort of boo-boo, put some bandage on some sort of torn relationship okay someone wants to tell you that they regret that they um left you or abandoned you or didn't help you when you needed help holy spirit holy angels tell me more something about someone's son this could be your son don't have to be flip it where it needs to go we have using your social security number so someone here could have used your 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 social security number for something um and they know you're about to find out. Or someone's going to tell you about someone using your social security number for something illegal. We have wants to argue with you. So there's someone here that wants to come in and argue with you. Whoever this person who's a victim or likes to play to be, likes to play the victim. We have the um, number 1144 could be very significant. You could be seeing this number. Okay, we have poison. Somebody here tried to poison you. You could find this out. Okay. Or someone here could have been lying and saying that you poisoned them in order to have cancer. I don't know. <laughs> That's for some of you, not all y'all. Okay. We have no here. This is somebody that you need to say no to. We have paid off witnesses. I'm also getting like... There could have been people who, who know some val valuable information that could get someone locked up and they were all paid to say no like they didn't know something they didn't witness something ciao tell me more someone's first middle or last name could start with an n this could be yours or theirs you need to know that you're exactly where you're meant to be Someone here is trying to tiptoe around somebody or around something, okay? Someone's afraid of something here or afraid of you. Someone afraid of you. Maybe somebody did do this to you and you're still alive, child. We have um, the only thing to count on is change. So someone doesn't want something to change. They refuse to allow something to change here this could be someone here who has a cluster b personality disorder that could have paid off witnesses this could be the type of person that wants to come in and argue with you this is someone here that refuses to see positivity in their life okay they want to be a victim we have calling texting emailing you using fake accounts profiles etc to vamp off energy from you so this is someone here who's harassing the fuck out of you this could be someone who's um always sending you negative things sending negative communication towards you this is someone here that wanted you to feel bad about yourself this is someone here that wanted you to um lack self-confidence in some way this is someone whose life is like a fucking train wreck right now things are going downhill okay someone's upset we have last laugh so this person was laughing before now you're gonna be the one with the last laugh Okay, because something about to change for these motherfuckers. We got December. Something about the month of December. Somebody here was trying their best to do something to you, and it's, it, it didn't work out. Okay, or somebody's birthday is in December. This could be a Capricorn or a Sagittarius that were involved in trying to do something negative to you. We have there's no magic pill for self-love. This could be individuals that don't love themselves, and they didn't want you to love yourself either. Okay. We have glasses. Someone here could wear glasses. This could be you or somebody else. This person or someone else is seeing somebody or a situation very clearly. Or you about to see somebody very clearly. We have obsessed. People are seeing somebody as being very obsessed with you and your energy and your life. Okay? Ciao. Someone here has a newborn child. Or there's a hidden baby. Or someone's upset because you're going to have a new beginning. Or that you're pregnant. Or that you're going to get pregnant with someone else. I don't know. I don't know what this energy is. Someone, Someone's just obsessed with this in general. There's some sort of secret bank account with your name on it. 
okay that someone wants to argue you argue with you about there could be people that know there's a fucking bank account with a lot of zeros in it that it that has your name on it it's for you someone's been hiding this since 2012 or 2020 the year 2020 something like that okay holy spirit holy angels can you tell me more we have destiny's child i am a survivor okay and this is under poison so yeah you survived some sort of poisoning or some whatever someone was attempting to like do when it comes to like dwindling your own health your own self-image about your how you feel about yourself or how other people view you you survived it someone didn't think you were okay we have if it ain't six feet it ain't that deep a cow scrubby someone here is throwing an adult tantrum because something is not working out for them i'm also getting this as someone who threw an adult tantrum because you told them no you said no to something when it comes to this person you had your boundaries up when it came to this person that's why they they threw a hissy they threw a hissy fit i can't even talk they they threw a hissy fit we have december i mean not december jesus okay so that was weird we have psychic so okay something could have happened or was planned to happen to a psychic in december this could have been a whole group activity that was involved in trying to do something to a psychic or a whole group went to a psychic in december to find out about you or what you got going on in your life okay this could have been an aries taurus cusp or i'm speaking to an aries taurus cusp that this happened to child what the hell is going on there could be some sort of false marriage documents or some false documents that are going to be revealed or that are going to be coming to light that someone wants forgiveness okay for maybe somebody here was planning on doing this like popping the question to you so that this false marriage document doesn't look false i don't know holy spirit holy angels tell me more i'm also getting there could be a psychic out here that has a cluster b personality disorder or someone here was saying that you're if you're a psychic someone here could have been saying that you have a cluster b personality disorder one more we have i drove by your house the other day so whoever this obsessed individual is drives by your fucking house they know where you live this could be a libra scorpio cusp this keeps coming out and it's not in a, the best favorable light okay um there could be a psychic here that's a libra scorpio cusp okay that is always playing the victim this could be someone here that wants to argue with you this could be someone here that wanted to cause you some sort of bad health okay mentally spiritually physically this could be backfiring on someone and now they feel burdened they feel emotionally overwhelmed they don't like that you're protected that's for some of you not all y'all okay this could be a cancer or somebody was doing this to a cancer or a cancer was doing this to a scorpio or a libra or an aries or a taurus or vice versa flip it where it needs to go someone here is going to get booked for something all right we have you're not confused you are abused so somebody here was trying to mentally play with your mind something about telepathic messages we have singing is healing okay someone here knows they need to express something in order to heal something has to be spoken something has to be communicated someone here could be in their 70s or above this could be you or someone else this could be your own god dang mother okay that could have been hiding something from you or you're a mother um that this happened to or there's a mother here that's gonna get booked for something maybe they're gonna get booked for poison i don't know child someone here or someone's mom or baby mama flip it where it needs to go could be a money hungry hoe all right or this is or someone's mama was telling someone that uh you're a money hungry hoe flip it where it needs to go we got credit score 700 to 800 someone here could be livid by the fact that your reputation is in a good standing still someone here is going to get sentenced five to ten years in jail or prison for whatever they did here they thought they could get away with this it says i want you to feel bad slash sorry for me someone here is going to come in with a fake sob story or some sort of fake injury or fake something in order for you to feel bad 
okay and forgive them and let them back into your life or for you to go easy on them when it comes to something here we have movie forrest gump someone didn't want you to believe in yourself someone also didn't someone underestimated you they didn't think you'd be able to like overcome something persevere through something someone here didn't think very highly of you all right someone here thought you were real simple <laughs> but you real smart okay we got raid all right someone here might get raided or the this is like the divine is stepping in your spirit team is stepping in your ancestors your angels are stepping in um and they about to spray raid on all these fucking roaches that are around you all these low lives all these low vibrational energies that were all trying to come up against you and stop you from your life purpose they taking them out the exterminator coming through okay because you're a fucking healer and you're needed on this realm someone was trying to get rid of you in december something here about this is of significance or someone doesn't want other people to know about that i don't know we have tortoise slow and steady wins the race here we got fire sign there could be a fire sign that has a cluster b personality disorder okay or there's a fire sign here that is a healer that somebody wanted to do something to them in december flip it where it needs to go child or there's a fire sign that has beef with a libra slash scorpio i don't know we have codependent friend there's some sort of codependent friend here that could be calling texting you or emailing you using fake accounts tell me more spirit we have smiling in your face secretly wanting to take your place what was i saying before you're gonna find out some crazy shit we got wow the fuckery is real you're gonna find out some crazy shit it might shock you or it just might be a confirmation of what you've already been intuitively picking up especially if you're someone here who is highly intuitive or psychic holy spirit holy angels we have murder weapon found or there's some damning evidence okay that's against somebody or has been found on someone we got inside job security guard so there could be a security guard somewhere in this situation or there's a security guard that knows something about some somebody being poisoned or they know the truth there could have been a security guard that witnessed something that could have happened or witnessed a plan that was supposed to take place okay someone here could have itchy skin we have cult someone here is in a cult someone's skin here could be crawling because they know their time is up or if you have itchy skin you need to be mindful of who's around you because that could be an indication that there's someone you aren't supposed to be around like your body is warning you it's being manifested through your skin like you could it could be telling you you're allergic to like literally allergic to someone this could be someone who's in a cult or in some sort of group okay that does not have your best interests in mind you could also be getting headaches when you're around a certain individual okay or this person's now experiencing some sort of migraines or headaches someone here could have a lazy eye we have uh money is coming fast i'm also getting like somebody decided to do this or agree to do something to you that was not positive because they wanted to have fast money okay someone is now realizing like whatever they were hoping for it's not coming in let's get out the shells ciao holy spirit holy angels, what is going on what are they doing at this time I'm also picking up something about a parasite some of you might need to do like a parasite um flush or something here or you need to eat um someone here needs to put 
What's it called? Someone needs to eat guava or... No, not guava. Papaya. Someone's first, middle, or last name could start with a Q, a B, an A, an E, an I, an N, a V, an H, an L, an A, a D, an R, a B, an O, an X, a Z, an F, an O, an E again, an M, and a C. <sighs> Someone knows something. There's a person in a higher level of a of position of authority that knows something. They know some sort of certain information here about someone wanting to do something harmful to you or doing something negative to you. Or someone knows about a, uh, this person in power knows about a secret account. They're just like waiting for someone to do something here. I just heard Ashley. Someone's name could be Ashley. Someone here could live in Alabama. Okay. Someone's name could be Elena. We have Elena out here. Or Elaine. Someone's name could be Elaine. Someone's name could be Eli. Or Elijah. Someone's name could be Leah. Someone's name could be Liam. 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 Someone's name could be Lena. Someone's name could be Linda. Someone's name could be Dina. Someone's name could be Diana. Dirty Di. Dirty Diana. Something about Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson could be significant. Something about a zoo. A lot of these people were acting like animals or a lot of these people were acting out of like their animal instincts or something here was very primal or someone here was trying, I don't know. Or someone was trying to make you do something very primal. Or you need to listen to your instincts at this time, okay? Someone's name could be Mano Milani. Naomi. Somebody here thought you were alone. We have the word alone out here. Or someone here is trying to get you to get you alone with them. We got BC. Someone here could be um, from British Columbia. We have DC. Someone here could be from, from uh, Washington, DC. <sighs> There's something here about a crime. Someone here doesn't want to go down alone for some sort of crime. That's why someone here is going to rat someone out. We got crime. Okay. We also have the word loner. Okay. Or someone tried to loan somebody something. Or someone here could have taken out a loan. Illegally. Using your social security number. This could be something you're about to find out. Someone here could be um, ending up in the ER. We got ER out here. Something about a doctor. Someone here could be a doctor. We got the word doc. Or something here about a, a document could be significant. Someone here could have locks. Someone's name could be Mia. Or someone here is missing an action and someone's trying to find someone. Maybe someone here is trying to find you or you're trying to find someone. Something about someone's date of birth isn't matching up. Or something about someone's date of birth is significant.
Something about cannabis is significant. Maybe someone smokes a lot of ganja. Someone's name could be Boleyn. Someone's name is Nelly or Nelson. Someone here was trying to ban you or get you banned. We got ban or somebody here tried to banish you or you're you need to banish someone from your energy child. Someone here is deciding to reread something or read over something we have read. Or there's something here about someone here could have tried to ban a reader. That's another thing that I'm getting. We got ban read. Someone's name could be Ian or Evan or Evian, Vivian. Something about someone's veins. Someone here could shoot up. Okay, or there's something here that's running through your veins. Someone here can't destroy something for you because something's in your DNA or, or something here, it runs through you. It's natural. I don't know, something like that. Someone here could be a CEO. All right. Something about someone's brain. Someone here wants to come in and prick, pick your brain. Or somebody thinks someone's very smart or intelligent or someone here thought they were smart or intelligent i'm also getting like someone is now discovering who was the brain of some sort of plan or crime or something here we also got the word frame someone here tried to frame someone we got frame or that was the plan someone was trying to frame you for something okay in order for you to get locked up something here about um something about dinner something about your family something about a family dinner this could be a whole family that's working together Someone here could be Indian or from India. Someone here is in a bind. We have the word bind here. Or someone here was trying to bind themselves to you. Something here is coming to an end. We have the word end out here. Or someone knows they got to end something. We got the word boo. Somebody here was trying to scare you. Someone here about to get scared. Someone here is about to get scoops, scooped. Someone's about to get spooked. Or someone here is about to get scooped up. Someone wants to call you their boo. Someone doesn't want this to happen. <laughs> someone here could live where there's a lot of cows. We got the word moo out here. Okay. Or someone here could be larger in size. We got the word bee out here. Okay. You guys could be seeing a lot of bees, or there's something here about bees. Something here about um, an intake in your prosperity is coming in. Something here about a laboratory. Someone here could live, or not live, work in a laboratory, or they live near a laboratory. We got a lab out here. Or something here about lab result. Someone's lab results coming through. Okay. Someone's name is Danny or Daniel. Mikael, Mikael, someone's name could be Mikael. Someone here was trying to lure you somewhere or lure you into a situation. Someone could have tried to lure you somewhere where it was dim. We got the word dim and then we got the word lure, okay? Something here is real, or something here is about to become real, real for someone. We got real out here. Or someone realizes that you're real. You are who you say you are. Someone's name is Eddie or Ed. Edwin. 
Eduardo. Someone here, something here about someone's best friend or someone's boyfriend that is of significance. Someone's name is Deborah or Deb. Something here is supposed to happen at noon. I'm also getting someone here could use the app Noom. N O O M. Someone here could be trying to lose weight or something. There's something here about a cab. Someone here could drive a taxi or someone here travels through taxi. Or there could have been a cab driver, a, a cab driver that witnessed something. Or someone here drives for a living. Someone here could do Uber or Lyft. Or they're a trucker. Okay. Something here was bad. Somebody knows that something here was bad. Something here about the moon. Something bad happened during the full moon. And now they know something is real. They know something is over. I just heard quadruple. I don't know what the fuck that means. Something about a boom. I don't know. Now I'm hearing DMX. Something about a key fob again. Something about a fob. Someone's name is Bob. Something about a fib. Somebody told a fib. Someone's name is Earl. Someone bought a van. Someone drives a van. Someone's hiding something in a can. <laughs> Someone's name could be Dax. Something here about a hex. Some sort of hex is over. Someone knows some sort of hex backfired. Okay. Bail? Ball? B A A L? Someone could worship Ball? Someone's name is Mila. Something. Someone knows they're doomed. Something about Dracula. I don't know. Someone's a vampire. A vampire is doomed. They know they did something here. Something here is they. They realize this in the a.m. in the morning. Someone here could be going ham. Or there's something here about eating ham. Pork. Something about someone's hair. Something's going on with someone's hair. Someone here could be losing hair. Or someone took someone's hair. Someone's mad. There's someone here that's mad about something. They're mad that something didn't go through. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what the hell going on? I'm just like, what time is it? Okay, I gotta hurry up. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to hear regarding this situation before we bounce? Yeah, somebody ran out of time. Something is no longer gonna work because the timing's off. Something about the, something about the moon. <laughs> Excuse me, something about the moon cycle. Someone here was imagining something to happen and it's not gonna happen. Okay, or something here was all some sort of plan that was supposed to happen to you or gonna supposed to be executed. It fell through. It was all in someone's imagination that whatever they were strategically planning to do to you was gonna work and it didn't work. Okay, tell me more. Someone here could be 48 years old. Someone here could be 76 years old that is involved in this situation or is in some sort of cult. Someone here was trying to hold on to some sort of savings or your savings or some sort of large sum of money. Okay, someone here was trying to preserve or hold back from giving somebody something. Okay, 
this could have been something that was left to you from your grandparents or your great great grandparents someone here knew that you needed help and they didn't give it to you i'm also getting like this person now is going to come in and ask you for help they're going to ask you for mercy they're going to hope that you're going to they're banking on your kindness i'm also getting this could be two older individuals that are banking on your kindness because they need your money or they need what was left to you it in order to live out their old age i don't know some shit like that like if there was an, an inheritance that was left to you and these old people are your parents they didn't want to give it to you because they don't they needed that to survive off i don't know something like that whatever we got perseverance you're gonna be you you persevered all through all these challenges that someone here was trying to um put you through because you are a good kind-hearted person someone here wants to come in and marry you okay or there's someone here that sees you as someone who's very sweet and loving someone here didn't gain something i'm also getting someone here wanted to come in and act like they loved you in order to gain something from you but they're, they didn't gain shit you could have seen through this person this could be someone here who was wanting to come in and act like they want to pop the question marry you long-term commitment all that jazz but that was not their true intention someone here just wanted your luck or wanted your money or wanted what you were what you were to gain or this is what this person's plan is now they're going to come in and try to act all sweet with you so they can take part in what you got maybe even someone wants to come in and um get you pregnant or someone try to hide a pregnancy from you i don't know or someone got paid to get someone pregnant i don't know ciao what the hell going on <laughs> we have 12 34 divine timing is at hand right now we have good luck it says you are on the right track someone from the other side has your back and encourages you to try your best you will succeed observe your surroundings and communicate clearly be sure that everything will fall it says to pieces but fall to place it will fall into place holy spirit holy angels justice is here for you we got 10 10 you guys can be seeing this angel number it says it's up to you it's time to put those long cherished ideas into action you will soon come into contact with the appropriate individual circumstances and resources eventually you will experience joy as well as brand new opportunities trust in the process okay whoever i'm speaking to you need to trust in the process you got brand new opportunities coming your way okay brand new opportunities trust the process okay we got five 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 we got change here the only thing you can do is count on change we have you're going to level up whoever i'm speaking to you're gonna level up baby boo okay it says it might not feel good initially whatever this change is but it will prepare you to handle the greater things in life for your highest good that is why you have been this okay that is why you have been looking for the fuck is this saying this that is the why you've been looking for oh that's what that's what it's saying push through it there's a reward waiting at the finish line okay so if you're wondering like why is x y and z happening to me why why did i have to go through all this turmoil and all these obstacles and why did i have to go through blah 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 why did i have to meet so and so whatever whatever you everything is gonna make sense everything is going to make sense okay then we got 0404 it says slow down it says pay close attention to the people in your life pay attention to your surroundings and your physical health don't freak out okay it's just a warning to be careful and awake to avoid any further issues communicate clearly and keep healthy boundaries whoever i'm speaking to you need to keep up your boundaries keep them up because someone here wants to either poison you they want you to have itchy skin or you need to pay attention to someone who's around you because it's affecting your immune system somehow you could be getting headaches your, your body's telling you something okay about someone 
I'm gonna find out. Well, let's find out who the fuck in this cult. Who's in this cult? Can we get some zodiac signs? Who's who's in this cult before we bounce? This could be a cancer that's in some sort of cult or some sort of group here. Tell me more, spirit. Who's in this fucking cult? This could be a twin flame of y'all's. You could have a twin flame that's a cancer that was in uh, that was a part of some sort of cult, or your twin flame is a part of some sort of cult. We have a uh, tiger. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a tiger that is in a cult. Who's in this cult, spirit? Okay, someone here who keeps trying to mirror your energy. They're trying to act like they're an earth angel. They try to act like they're trying to act like they're here to help people and shit. This person that no, they're in a fucking cult. Who is this person that's in a cult? It could be a Scorpio. There could be a Scorpio here that's in a cult. Okay, tell me more, spirit. Or there's this cult that has some fucking secrets. There's someone here that's coming in as a new connection or like a new friend, a new whatever. This person's in a cult or they're in this cult. We have uh, the Chinese zodiac sign of a monkey. Note the date. This could be your Chinese zodiac sign or this person that's in this fucking cult. Tell me more. Ox. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of an ox that could be in this fucking cult. Okay. And then we got Taurus. Someone here could be a Taurus that's in this fucking cult. Okay. Or this is your sign. Flip it where it needs to go, child. But somebody in a cult you gonna find out everything gonna make sense everything will make sense i gotta hurry up this is way too long what else do they need here spirit we have feel what you feel it says you have the right to feel what you feel but remember that you always have a right to be happy okay no matter what's going on you have the right to be happy don't make someone make you feel bad for being happy Maybe there's someone here that wants you to feel guilty because you you have good karma on the way or you're going to be receiving some sort of blessing or some sort of good news. Don't let don't let somebody who's miserable around you make you feel bad because you finally are going to have some good news. You're being asked to get a reading or someone here might need to get a reading, okay? It says use divination to understand your desires and your path or you need to get your own death your own your own deck of cards, okay? Someone needs to get their own deck of cards. Tell me more. We have clear your energy. It says refuel your energy and reclaim your power. All right. Listen, this is going to be end of your this is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. All right. Oh, look. And then it says avoid toxic people. All right. It says hang out with people who will uplift your spirit, not bring it down. Because there's someone around you that's bringing down your spirit, all right? Pay attention. Okay, this is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. It is greatly appreciated. If you guys would like a personal reading with me, please check my description box below for my website, occultlifestyle.com. If I am fully booked, please go to mysticsense.com. That link is also down in my description box. <sighs> Till next time, I love you. Okay, bye.